Ida for telling my sister she should have listened to and believed her stepson and she wouldn't be so blindsided today. My sister Jess 36F has been married to Kyle 38M for 7 years. Jess has Parker 11M from a previous relationship, and Kyle has Bodie 15M from his first marriage. Bodie's mom died when he was 5 or 6. Ever since Jess and Kyle got married, Bodie has been pretty clear about not seeing Jess and Parker as his mom bonus mom or brother. Parker adores Bodie though. Early in the relationship and again in the marriage my other sister Chantel and I brought up to Jess that she should really listen to Bodhi. Jess got this idea into her head that the boys were bonding and Bodhi adored Parker as much as Parker adored him. Bodhi always said he was an only child and Parker would never be just his brother his real brother. Jess didn't listen to us and she lived in this fantasy world. Last year Parker was diagnosed with cancer, broke all our hearts because he was so scared and treatment has been awful for him but he is coming out on the other side. Bodhi's feelings and relationship did not change when Parker got cancer. He's still distant and not very emotionally attached to Parker. My sister kinda noticed then but said that she still believed Bodhi would be there for Parker if he needed him. A few weeks ago Bodhi won tickets to an amusement park Parker loves. He hasn't been able to go for a while because he was sick and Jess and Kyle are financially struggling due to Parker's cancer and things they had to pay for in that time. So money is tight. Bodhi said he invited his best friend to go with him. Kyle suggested that he should take Parker and he said no. He said he wanted to go with his friend not with Parker. Parker had already been told about the tickets and he really wanted to go with Bodhi. He adores Bodhi and thinks he is the coolest and best person in the world. He was crushed when he heard Jess and Kyle sat down and talked to Bodhi about how much it would mean to Parker and how it would be a kind thing to give him something fun to do and the two could enjoy it together. Bodhi said no, and he mentioned that he left the tickets with his friend and his friend's parents so Jess and Kyle couldn't use them how they wanted. Jess is pissed. She's angry that Bodhi is being this way and has been blindsided by how little Bodhi cares about Parker's happiness and the fact he wouldn't jump at the chance for them to have a fun day together when they could have lost Parker. Chantel and her already fought over it and Chantel told Jess she had no business hating the kid and he didn't choose this. When she came to me and asked why Chantel was so pissed at her and why neither of us seemed to be shocked, I said it's because we believed him when he said Parker wasn't his brother and I said she should have really listened and believed him too. Jess cried and yelled at me and told me Bodhi was a kid and still is one and kids can say things they don't mean all the time. She said we expected way too, too much of her. Ida, 